In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a lower third graphic that you can overlay in your VidBlaster productions. Now, to get started, I'm actually using a Macintosh here because my version of Photoshop, I only have the Mac version, uh, but it's basically the same as the Windows version. And if you don't have Photoshop, uh, you can download a free trial online, or there is also a completely free alternative called the GIMP. Uh, which works very, very well, and you, it will allow you to do basically the same sort of thing. So to get started, I'm going to open up Photoshop. Okay, now we're going to make a new image. So select New. And for the size, it's actually come up with the size that I wanted already. Uh, you need to have a think about what resolution your production is going to be. So you may think you want it the highest resolution. Well, if you've got a very powerful computer and you're only recording your production, uh, that would be fine. But if you're actually going to upload it to a streaming service such as Ustream while you're actually producing your video on the fly, unless you've got a very, very good connection to the internet, a very strong, very high upload speed, uh, you may want to consider using a smaller resolution so uh, the quality of your video stays good. Uh, I don't have a particularly good connection to the internet, so I stream in usually 640 by 360 or 640 by 480. And for the purpose of these videos, I'm using a 640 by 480 resolution. So in the document here in Photoshop, my width is going to be 640 pixels. So make sure you, if you click this, you've got all different kind measures, size that you can select here. Make sure you select pixels. And I'm using 640 by 480. Uh, you can use, you know, just adjust this to, to whatever size resolution your project is. Um, and resolution is 72 DPI. Now this is a really tricky question. Some people say that uh, in video that the resolution isn't a consideration because you're measuring pixels. Other people say resolution is a consideration because you're actually measuring the distance between the pixels. Uh, and the, the, the thinking for that is that you've only got to look at one of the Apple products with the retina display to know that you can move a lot of pixels very close uh, and have a, an extremely high resolution screen in a very small size. So. I personally am not, uh, I don't have the answer to that one. So 72 seems to work best for me. If you know a little bit more about it, perhaps you could leave a comment in the comment section and clear that up. So at this point, we're going to say a resolution of 72. And we're going to select also transparent. That's very important. We need to make sure that it's a transparent document they're working on. So now that we've got that set up, square pixels is also another thing you need to, to make sure your aspect ratio is set to square. Click OK, and that will give us a blank document, which is going to be the basis for our lower third. So what you can also do at this point, uh, you want to press Control apostrophe or Command apostrophe if you're on a Mac, and that will show you some guides. So go to Preferences, guides and grid slices so we'll say percent and we'll say every 25 percent okay and that gives us actually quarters i find that as particularly when you're working in 640 by 480 or a 4 by 3 aspect ratio that the term lower third doesn't really apply you're actually looking at a lower quarter so now we have our basic shape and our guides, I'm going to open another image, which is an image of my puppy Benson, who's a, a Labrador, who we absolutely adore and is spoiled rotten. Okay, so again, I'm going to press Command apostrophe or Control apostrophe if you're on Windows to take the guides away. And in Photoshop, there's a very, very cool tool called the Quick Selection Tool. And it basically gives you what looks like a paintbrush and it allows you to just draw over something and it senses where the edges are. And I've got a little bit too far there, so I'm going to press 
Alt or Option and take that section away. And we're gonna add his ear back in. There we go. So we've very quickly been able to select Benson from the background. Now I'm going to right click over that, layer it via a copy. Okay. And that layer, I'm going to drag that across and drop it into our lower third. So now that I've done that, I can close out of this picture. I don't need to save that. Now I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller here. I'm going to press Control T or Command T for the Mac users. And that selects the, the picture that I've just brought in. Now I'm going to hold down the Shift key and drag. And the reason I'm holding down the Shift key is that will keep the aspect ratio intact. It'll preserve the aspect ratio. So now that I'm getting it sort of closer to the size that I want it, move it into position. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Probably about there. Okay, now I'm going to approve that and make this a little bit larger so you can see what's going on. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'm now going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw in a rectangle shape, probably about there. Now you might think covered up the doggy, but what we're actually going to do is drag that layer down underneath Benson so it sits behind him. Okay, now I'm going to right click on that rectangle and go to blending options and color overlay. I'm going to make that black. And I'm also going to put a stroke on it, which is this option here and I'm going to select a yellow stroke. Now I know that the RGB colors, I know that it's 255 in the red channel and 255 on the green channel and that gives me a yellow color. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to press Command apostrophe or Control apostrophe again and that's looking pretty good for a very quick lower third. So what I'm going to do now is go to the layers menu option and merge visible. And that flattens them all down into one layer and still preserves the transparency. So now I'm going to save that as a PNG file, which handles transparency very nicely. And we're going to call it lower third. We'll save that. A uh, little bit of compression, which makes it load faster and interlacing. I'm going to leave that at none. Okay. All right, that saved our lower third. We'll close out of Photoshop. And now we're going to switch to Windows mode. Now we can go ahead and open up VidBlaster. I'm just going to close that trial window. Okay, now as we said before, the resolution is important. So if you click video resolution, you can see here I've selected 640 by 480. So when I created my lower third graphic, that was the dimensions that I made for it. It's, it's pretty important that you have the same pixel resolution set that way your graphic doesn't look distorted or pixelated when you import it. Uh, I'm going to add another camera here. Add camera. And I'm going to select the built-in webcam on my computer. There we go. Okay. So now I can select, we want to bring in the lower third. So I'm going to go modules, add, and I'm going to select an overlay module drag that down here. And it really is as simple as just dragging and dropping your lower third in and dropping it on overlay. So now when I click that, you can see that the, the lower third comes up. And in the bottom here, I can type my name. And you see, think, oh, that looks a little bit too small. So I'm just going to right click it, select font, 
and pick something bigger. Let's say, say 48. There we go. Okay, so there we go. You see we've got a lower third now, and if I want to take that away, I just click it. And if I want to bring it back, just click it again. There you go. It's as easy as that.